Hello, we're back again, Ty Whittingham here, and I have another Google Ads lesson for you. This lesson is called, How Can We Predict Success? The scenario is, we just launched a new campaign, whether that be for ourselves, for our client, for whoever is paying for the ads, uh, the person who's paying will always, uh, most more often than not, have this exact same question. The scenario goes like this. The new campaign is launched. The first couple days results are usually not what they need to be, not uh, the cost per conversion may be a little bit high. Uh, you may not have gotten any conversions. Um, so I am going to teach you how to predict whether or not, just by looking at the first day or two of data, whether your campaign uh, will likely be successful or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my screen share here. And I have two screenshots for you. Uh, this screenshot comes from a campaign that th these will be both the same campaign here. Uh, and, and if you will take note of the date, uh, this is June 17th, 2019. That was two days ago. I, I'm on June 19th when I'm recording this. And uh, I'm actually gonna use a, a kind of a funky date range here. So don't mind the date range, the principle remains the same regardless. So what we see here is this is the overview page for Google Analytics, ah, Google Ads, Google Analytics, that was weird. Uh, this is the overview page for Google Ads and it shows us based on whatever we selected over here on this left-hand side, let me get my annotation tool. Uh, based on whatever we selected over here on this left hand side, we will see that data uh, come into we'll see that data come into this the main area of the screen. Um, if we are not if we don't have anything selected and we just have search campaigns or display campaigns, uh, maybe all campaigns, then we're going to be seeing all of the campaign data here, but it's very important to note that whatever you have selected over here on this left side is what will display in this area. So this campaign here, we, we made a, an adjustment to it um, and something funky happened. The cost in one day was $513 and we see that the average CPC was $13.50 essentially. We got three conversions for $171 each. The target cost per conversion for this account is about $75. 75 is more than twice as little, more than twice, more than half, more than half, yeah, more than half lower than $171. Uh, and so you could say, oh, this campaign, this, this is gonna fail because we have a $171 cost per conversion. We better cancel this. Well, the thing is, this campaign got three conversions. And it's important to take note here on this timeline as the day goes on, these are hours that we see. Uh, we have uh, since passed the completion of this day. So if we're looking at this midday, then we might expect to see a line graph that looks similar to this where it only goes about halfway across the screen. But we're on the 17th here and uh, we see that we have June 19th, as I had mentioned. Um, so what happens is uh, th this particular campaign um, is using maximize conversions for its bidding strategy. And regardless of which bidding strategy you use, max clicks, max conversions, or you're doing your own CPC, uh, manual CPC, or you're using uh, target CPA or target ROAS, the system works the same um, in theory, in regardless of the strategy you're using. So the, um, in, in this particular instance, I'm gonna talk about the two bidding strategies, max clicks and max conversions, just because those automatically control what we're gonna talk about here, your, your CPC bid. Those automatically control your CPC bid for you with the primary intention of spending your budget. That's a critical thing to understand when, when we're talking about these algorithms is what's its primary goal? Max conversions, max clicks. Their goal is to spend this budget. If it does not spend, if you have a, uh, let's say you have a $250 daily budget, 
set to the campaign, if it doesn't spend 250 bucks, then in its opinion, it has failed. <clears throat> the secondary goal of that uh, algorithm is to then maximize your performance within that daily budget. So it has to figure out how to spend the daily budget first, then second, maximize your performance within that daily budget. We see uh, that the line stops right here, and that is because uh, we did actually have a $250 daily budget applied to this campaign. We see it spent $513. It accomplished its goal, spend the daily budget, and then maximize conversions within that. Okay. And it did so by around noon. This, let's just say, let's assume that that's noon. So that was June 17th, and, and what, uh, what, what's going to happen next in subsequent days is it's going to say, the algorithm will say, oh, I had a $13.49 average cost per click when I bid X on the, the cost per click or CPM, however you want to phrase it. When I, when I bid this aggressively, it resulted in a $13 cost per click, which then spent my budget before the entirety of the day was through. So we missed here, this traffic um, is extreme, well, the, all traffic is uh, potentially valuable, but in this particular instance, uh, we missed out on 50% of the day because we exhausted our budget prior to the day ending. Tomorrow, Google is going to bid slightly less than $13 on its cost per hook. Maybe it'll do 10, maybe it'll do eight the next day. Maybe it'll go so low that it won't even spend its budget throughout the entire day, but we will see a consistent line going across, uh, particularly on the cost column, or maybe if we wanna like add impressions into one of these. Um, our, our cost and impressions will be very uh, fluid throughout the entirety of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show uh, just an extended um, time span. So this here is showing seven days. And uh, the reason that I picked this is it's the exact same campaign, seven days, it's the 12th to the 18th. Um, I know it has two missing uh, dots in here. This is Friday and Saturday, um, and this account is not running uh, actually, it's Saturday and Sunday, so Saturday, Sunday. So this right here is not uh, tracking um, because we didn't run ads, but the important thing that I want you to see here is that we had a $9.59 result cost per click, and that got us 13 conversions for $85 each. We know that, uh, I believe it was this day, the 17th, this day had uh, worse results than we could expect, typically, because it didn't. It only spent halfway through the day. And we, we see that because when Google bid, uh, what resulted in a $9.59 cost per click, it got us those 13 conversions for 85 bucks, which is just $10 over the account goal of $75. So, what does this mean to you? If you are launching a new campaign and um, you're trying to predict your performance, if your results are less than ideal within the first day or whatever day that you're looking at, if you get less than ideal results, what you're gonna wanna do is just jump into the overview area, select that campaign, and see how consistent this line graph is. If you have spend, that uh, starts strong and then dies about halfway through the day, three quarters of the way through the day. Sometimes uh, the algorithm will spend the entirety of the budget within the first couple hours of the day and then have nothing for the rest of the day. And then uh, for the remaining days, for, for the subsequent days, it will then decrease the bid accordingly so that it will spread the traffic out throughout uh, the entire duration of the day, which will then reduce your overall average CPC, which if your conversion rate remains the same, that will then reduce your cost per conversion to uh, hopefully a number that makes sense for your account. And the way that you can predict that is uh, 13, you, let, let's just assume that conversion rates are gonna stay the same. If we have a 
cost per click and we need to reduce this by 50%, then obviously we're gonna need uh, somewhere around a six or a seven dollar cost per click for this particular campaign, this set of keywords, maintaining this conversion rate to be able to hit that goal, that $75 goal, or the, the goal that is 50% lower than what we actually achieved. And Google will be able to get you more clicks throughout the day, uh, spend through a longer time span. And because it is able to do that, um, that, that usually yields better results. Okay, that, that was it for this video. Um, I'm trying to make these videos very concise and focusing on, on one subject and one subject alone. So I really hope that that was clear and that helps you be able to predict whether or not a campaign is worth continuing or, or uh, just estimating whether the targeting or the keywords that you have in that particular campaign even have a chance at winning. If, if you uh, saw that it spent throughout the entire uh, timeline, and you got a ton of clicks and it, you just had, like let's say you had 100 clicks but zero conversions. It's very odd uh, to have, especially, I'm sorry, I saw a fly crossing my path. Um, actually a little fruit fly. But anyways, it's, it's very strange uh, for search traffic to, to have a conversion rate that's lower than 1%. Sometimes it happens, uh, but if, if you're getting 100 clicks or so or, or a, a good amount of clicks and not getting conversions, then you could, possibly presume that there's a problem. But if you are getting clicks and are getting conversions, but your conversions are just too expensive, the problem most likely is that you're just bidding too aggressively and the system needs to tone it down a little bit. And once it tones it down or you tone it down for it, uh, then, then the resulting cost per conversion should be something that will put you within the habitable zone and enable your campaigns to uh, run and thrive and help you grow your business. If you have any questions on this, this was fairly basic. Everything that I post to my YouTube channel is fairly basic. Um, but if you would like more advanced information or information specific to your particular account, then I would love nothing more than for you to schedule a call with me by finding the link down in the description below. Uh, I put it in every one of my videos. And that'll take you to a, a page that enables you to schedule a meeting with me through Calendly. I use Calendly. Uh, so just go ahead and schedule that meeting and we'll get linked up. To, I'll, I'll get linked up to your account, review it with you, give you some uh, tips on how I think your performance could improve. We can even make the change uh, right there, right then and there. Um, so if you have found this useful and, and want more, then that's what you do. Maybe in the future I'll have uh, like premium content where you can go and watch some unedited uh, live account audits or, or account analyses or uh, I'll just create a series of videos that just is a bit more um, expert, not necessarily expert, but more detailed and, and more comprehensive than what I show here on YouTube. All right, once again, rambling seems to be the way that I have ended most of my videos so far. So I hope you have a great day and uh, enjoy whatever it is that you're doing in life and everything all around.